Hey guys, I'm back with another video and right now we're gonna look at predicting every NBA team starting lineup for the 2021 and 2022 NBA season. So let's just get to it already. Let's go to it. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting off with the Atlanta Hawks with Trey Young, Bogdan Bogdanovich, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Clint Capella. Wow, well, uh, okay, okay. I honestly expected that they were going to start Kevin Werther over Bogdan Bogdanovich. Uh, but Bogdan Bogdanovich has been more consistent in the playoffs. But Kevin Werther has had some big games. Uh, well, either way, the Hawks are, gone, are a good team. They're honestly a good team. Uh, especially that they reach the Eastern Conference Finals. Three of the Hawks starters can be carved in stone with Young Collins, who signed a five-year, $125 million deal to return. They're talking about John Collins there. And Capella, all guaranteed to keep their opening jobs. Okay. So the next one is going to be the Boston Celtics with Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Al Horford. Oh, okay. I honestly thought that they were going to... Okay, guys, uh, I kind of forgot. I already forgot that this was just a prediction. So, this aren't really official. Uh, so, Bleacher Report is predicting that the Boston Celtics starting lineup would be Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, Jaden Brown, Jason Tatum, and Al Horford. Which isn't a bad lineup, to be honest. Uh, I really hope that the Celtics start Schroeder. Uh, he's just he was just misunderstood, especially with the with his last playoff performance. And Marcus Smart, we already know that this guy is a league defender. He's an All NBA defender. Jalen Brown, a rising star, just became an All Star last year. And Jason Tatum, who is already a superstar for the Celtics, and Al Horford, a solid veteran, who who can who still has. Who can still play? Who can still play? Let's just say that. He can still play. Next one will be the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, bird picture. But with James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, and Nicholas Claxton. Okay, okay. Uh, I honestly... Hmm, I honestly don't... I honestly like this lineup. Uh, James Harden as their point guard instead of Kyrie Irving. Uh... Either way, those are still two dominant guards. They are still two dominant ball dominant guards on the same team. And that's what danger and that's what dangerous. That's what's dangerous about them. And with Joe Harris, let's forget about his inconsistent playoff run last year. Joe Harris is a bucket. And Kevin Durant, we already know who Kevin Durant is. But Nick Claxton, I really hope I really hope that this prediction comes true. Uh, I want Nicholas Claxton to improve more and just to show the world that he can be a dominant center. I believe that he has the potential to. Next one with the Charlotte Hornets with Lomelo Ball, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, PJ Washington, and Mason Plumley. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Miles Bridges though? Wait, they're not gonna. Oh, okay. Uh, for the Hornets, I would rather have Lamelo as point guard, Terry Rozier as shooting guard, Gordon Hayward as their small forward, power forward can be Miles Bridges, and the center can be PJ Washington. So basically, they can go small ball, but okay, I think that Miles Bridges would be good off the bench. I don't know about this prediction though, uh, I don't know, let's just see next season. Next with the Chicago Bulls with Lonzo Ball, DeMar DeRozan, Patrick Williams, and Nikola Vucevic. Uh, I think I think this prediction it will will be. I think this prediction is already correct. I honestly think that this is also going to be their starting lineup. Uh, the Bulls are going to be fun to watch. They're about to be fun to watch. Uh, Lonzo Ball, a defensive-minded point guard. Zach Levine, an offensive threat. DeMar DeRozan. A solid, underrated, really underrated veteran. No, it's just sad to say that. Veteran. 32 years old, DeMar DeRozan. 
or 33, I don't know. He just had his birthday recently, I think. And a rising solid player in Patrick Williams and a two-time All-Star in Nikola Vucevic. The Bulls are going to be fun. I'm pretty sure they're going to make the playoffs. Next one with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers with Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, Isaac Coro, Kevin Love, and Jarrett Allen. Uh, this is really this is a really good prediction, honestly. Uh, I have nothing to say about that. Uh, uh, that's a good lineup right there. Okay, here Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic, Tim Hardaway Jr., Dorian Finney-Smith, Kristaps Porzingis, and Maxi Cle Maxi Kleba. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I like this. I like this. It's a solid. Okay, with the Denver Nuggets, there's Compazzo, Will Barton, Michael Porter Jr. Aaron Gordon and Nikola Vu Nikola Jokic. I'm sorry, Nikola Jokic. Now, of course, that Jamal Murray is out with the injury. Uh, may God bless him and heal him soon. I hope he's gonna be okay with his return. Oh man, that's just really sad, bro. Tearing her ACL. Prayers up for Jamal Murray. Uh, for cool. Compazzo can be a it's, it's honestly a good point guard. Will Barton a solid shoot a solid a solid player. Michael Porter Jr. a bucket get someone who can shoot the ball uh and just an automatic bucket. Aaron Gordon, big body. Nikola Vucevic. Oh my god, why do I keep getting his name why do I get why do I keep on getting Jokic's name wrong? Oh my god. Uh -uh. Nikola Jokic the MVP. This is a pretty solid lineup. Okay, I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. Here's this is interesting. Detroit Pistons. Killian Hayes, Cade Cunningham, Sadiq Bay. I hope I said it right. Jeremy Grant, Isaiah Stewart. Now this is a really good team, and I'm excited to see the Pistons. I'm excited to see the Pistons, uh, especially that they got a young team and the number one pick, and Sadiq Bay, underrated. Underrated. Golden State Warriors, Stephen Curry, Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, Kevon Looney. Okay. Uh, honestly, this was their lineup before. Uh, this was their lineup before. And they were a solid team. The Warriors were a solid team. They were a good team. They were a good team. And, of course, with Clay returning on Christmas... Warriors are going to be fun to watch. Houston Rockets with John Wall, Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr., Dan Daniel Tice, and Christian Wood. Okay, okay. I want. I'm excited to watch Jalen Green. Uh, as a Filipino, we support our we support our fellow Filipinos. Let's go! I'm excited to watch some Jalen Green action. Indiana Pacers with Malcolm Brogdon, Curtis Levert, TJ Warren, Domantas Sabonis, and Mal Cerna. I'm excited to see this lineup though. I really hope it's gonna I really hope it's gonna be true. I really hope that the Pacers will go with this lineup. It's really I'm excited for that. Okay, with the Los Angeles Clippers it's gonna be Reggie Jackson, Paul George, Nicholas Batum, Marcus Morris Sr. and Sergio Pop. Where's Kawhi? I don't know how long Kawhi will be gone. With Kawhi likely to miss most, if not all. Oh man, that's so sad. That's just sad. Oh man, that's sad. Injuries, bro. Injuries. That sucks really bad. Uh, either way, I think Paul George will have an amazing season. Especially with him being their main scorer. And Reggie Jackson too. I'm pretty sure that the both of them will have an amazing season. Oh man, sad for Kawhi though. Los Angeles Lakers with Russell Westbrook, Wayne Ellington, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Marc Gasol. I don't know about, I don't know if they're gonna continue starting Marc Gasol. Hmm, who else do they have as a center though? Uh, I honestly don't know. Uh, well, I'm more, I'm more interested on how Westbrook and LeBron would play together with AD. I don't know, it's gonna be exciting. 
Memphis Grizzlies with John Moran, Dylan Brooks, Cal Anderson, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Steven Adams. Now, a solid young core who just made the 8th seed and with John Morant, a rising super, a rising star, a rising star. He's amazing, he's amazing. With Jaron Jackson Jr. and Dylan Brooks, who has the potential to be one of the, one of the league's good, great scorers, honestly. One of the solid scorers of the NBA has the potential to be one. Next one is with the Miami Heat with Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, Duncan Robinson, TJ Tucker, and Bam Adebayo. Okay, so they're making Jimmy Butler the shooting guard and Duncan Robinson the small forward. Eh, I don't know. I honestly don't know how... I honestly don't know the chemistry of this Miami Heat team here. Miami team... Next one is with the Milwaukee Bucks with Juru Holiday, Dante DiVincenzo, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez. Now, okay, we already know that the Bucks just won a championship against my sons. Uh, still hurts though. Uh, yeah, I think I think they're still good. I think they're still good. Next one is with okay. I'm excited for this team. I'm excited for this team right here, the Timberwolves. D'Lo, Anthony Edwards, Malik Beasley, Jalen McDaniels, and Carl Anthony Towns. I'm excited to see this team, honestly. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Hmm. I think they should start Beverly and move D'Angelo Russell, D'Angelo Russell to the shooting guard and Anthony Edwards as a small forward. But let's see. Let's see. New Orleans Pelicans, Devontae Graham, Alexander Walker, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, I really hope that the Pelicans make the playoffs, man. I am. I really want to see Zion Williamson in the playoffs. Okay, now with the New York Knicks with Campbell Walker, R.J. Barrett, Evan Fournier, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. Now the Knicks have just made the playoffs last season, and I'm pretty sure if Randle just performed better. They would have beat the Hawks, but let's see with this new improved team with RJ Barrett improving, uh, with a young guy off the bench with with Obi Toppin and uh, Mitchell Robinson, a solid center. You know, Aliyup, Aliyup threat, Aliyup threat. OKC with Shai Gilgis Alexander, Josh Giddy, Lou Dort, Darius Baisley, and Derek Favors. To be honest, I this is I honestly don't know anything about the Thunder honestly. Uh, but all I know is that they have a rising superstar in Shea Gilgis Alexander, and I don't know I don't know how to pronounce his name though. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, anyway, let's just move on to the next thing with the Orlando Magic with Cole Anthony, Jaden Suggs, Terrence Ross, Jonathan Isaac. And Wendell Carter Jr. Oh my gosh. I really hope that they start Mobamba now, bro. Like, I want Mobamba to, to, to succeed with the Magic. I really hope that they start him. I really hope that they start him. Next one is with the Philadelphia 76ers with Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. No changes. No changes at all. Uh, I have nothing to say. Oh, okay. Here's my sons. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Mikael Bridges, Jay Crowder, and DeAndre Ayton. Now with my Phoenix, now with my Phoenix Suns, I really hope that they start Cam Johnson next season. Well, I I don't complain with Jay Crowder, but I really hope that they start Cam Johnson next season because he's one of my favorite Suns players. Next one is with the Blazers with Damian Lillard, C.J. McCollum, Norman Powell, Robert Covington, and Yusuf Nurkic. I feel really sad for Dame, though. Uh, I feel like the ba- Blazers are not giving him the help that he needs. Like, I understand that Dame Lillard is loyal, but he I think he's hurting his, his career in Portland. But I really do hope he wins a championship there. Next one is Sacramento, one of my... One of the teams that I'm excited to watch next season, too. De'Aaron Fox, Halib, Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Hield, Harrison Barnes, and Rashawn Holmes. Uh, this this is gonna be a fun team to watch next season. I hope they, they I hope that they make the playoffs too. 
Next one is to San Antonio Spurs with DeJounte Murray, Derek White, Keldon, Dons Keldon Johnson, Doug McDermott, and I don't know how to pronounce his name again. Uh, Jakob Powell. I think it's Jakob Powell. I don't know. <laughs> sorry if I totally just destroy that name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next one is the Toronto Raptors with with Fred Van Vliet. Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananobi, Pascal Siakam, and Cam Birch. Next one is with the Utah Jazz with Mike Conley Jr., Donovan Mitchell, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Royce O'Neal, Rudy Gobert. Not much changes too. And last least with the Washington Wizards. Okay, there's a lot of changes with this team. Spencer Dinwiddie, Bradley Beal, Contavious Cadwell Pope, Rui Hachimura, and Daniel Gafford. Now I really hope that they start Kuzma. I really, I'm pretty sure that Kuzma will have a breakout season next year. But yeah, let's see. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.